heck does Warrant and Millie Vanilli have to do with each other? Well, just hold on a minute. Let's go ahead and find out which song was stopped from hitting number one, and let's find out how it happened. Geeky Classic Rock. My name is Kiki. If you're new to my channel, welcome. What I like to do is literally just talk about everything classic rock, pop, nostalgia, and I am so fortunate to be able to talk to some of these artists that we've grown up listening to and we love, and hopefully that passion comes through to you too. If you like that, please go ahead, consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the like button, and of course, that little notification, ding dong bell. We all love to just hit a little ding dong when we we get the chance to. Warrant and Millie Vanilli, two totally different bands, two totally different sounds, but one of them kept the other out of hitting the number one spot. Let's just go ahead and dive in and find out exactly what happened here. Warrant originated in Hollywood in 1984 and had really big success with their debut album, Dirty Rotten, Filthy Stinkin' Rich. Now there is an affirmation right there. Walk around your house and say it a hundred times a day. I am dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. I mean, that's a lot of words to say, but you can, you can, you can do this. You got this. Before talking more about Warren's first album, let's talk about their second one, Cherry Pie, and that included the hits Uncle Tom's Cabin, Blind Faith, and of course, the arena smash Cherry Pie. All right, we're going back to Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich. They had the hits on there. Sometimes She Cries, Down Boys, and of course, their power ballad that we all love to sing today, Heaven. Late lead singer Janie Lane, he wrote it, he sang it, and it was the band's biggest charting hit. Janie and Warrant drummer Steven Swede actually played the song Heaven in their previous band, Plain Jane, and Rolling Stone magazine said Heaven was number one, but there was a band that prevented Heaven from hitting the Billboard Top 100 in the number one spot. Millie Vanilli. Oh yes, these boys were pretty, hi, yummy, and they could dance. The singing, we'll talk about that in just a second. Millie Vanilli gave us the hits, Baby Don't Forget My Number, Blame It On The Rain, and Girl You Know It's True. As well as the song that kept Warren's Heaven out of the number one spot, Girl I'm Gonna Miss You. Just in case you haven't heard the story, the guys were performing for MTV at nearby Lake Compounds in Connecticut, and as they were on the stage, Millie Vanilli were performing. Well, the tape they were singing to got stuck. That tape had the vocals on it. So Rob Pilatus, he got embarrassed. He ran from the stage and MTV VJ at the time, downtown Julie Brown ran after him and convinced him to go back and finish the show. I, I loved Millie Vanilli. I thought they were absolutely great, but it was, as someone said, the beginning of the end for them at that point. Sadly, Rob's addiction caused him to pass away, and ironically, 13 years later, the singer of the song that could not get to number one due to Millie Vanilli's success, Janie Lane, passed away on August 11th of 2011. These two songs, Heaven and Girl, I'm Gonna Miss You, so, so different. And the groups that sang these songs, again, so completely different. But the one common thing that was the same between the two songs, they were both about a girl. Yep, us girls, that's what we do. We go out and break hearts. But hey, if you can write a hit song about it, good for you. If you go and listen to Millie Vanilli's Girl, I'm Gonna Miss You, it's really, you know, a sway in your chair, finger snapping type of tune. And it has over 139 million YouTube views. And then you listen to Warrant's Heaven. I personally lean towards that song because to me, I have a stronger connection to it. It's just a more powerful love song. I can't explain it. And I'm not saying that Millie Vanilli's song, Girl, I'm Gonna Miss You, was a bad song because again, I really loved Millie Vanilli. It just goes to show that everybody was just in maybe a different musical place. No matter 
what? At the end of the day, you got two different bands, two different singers, two different sounds, and two lead singers that so sadly lost their lives to addiction. But both songs were written about the same thing, and that's love. Keep your love of rock and music and pop and nostalgia going and flowing by watching one of these two videos coming up next. And remember to keep smiling. Always remember to keep rocking.